we finally have a legit quarterback, JT Daniels. I mean, he was everything hyped up to be in the offseason, and you don't see that too often. Um, Threw a catchable ball, doesn't hang on to it very long. I saw somewhere that he was pressured over 40% of the time in his dropbacks, and, um, you know, he still had good stats, still scored 31 points against a tough pit defense, which, I mean, how many times did we crack 30 last year? So JT Daniels is just everything we hoped he would be. Um, I, I watched the game again, and I could only find one or two, like, bad passes that he threw, and um, those weren't even really terrible passes. The one where he threw it up, where he was getting pressured, and he threw it up, and Bryce Ford Wheaton made that miraculous catch, that was probably his worst pass of the game. But um, overall, I, I just thought he was spectacular. Yeah, I mean, I, I think he was the best quarterback in the game. I know the numbers don't show it, but when you look at the way they they played, JT Daniels made the offense better. You know, we, we you talked about the pressure rate. I mean, and Daniels made sure that up until that last drive, he only got sacked once. We got two more on that final drive, but that was because how quick he was, how the, his ability to navigate the pocket, he was stepping up. His pocket presence was incredible. Um, his intelligence was great. And-